Yeah, it is really, really hard to land on Mars, but they did it. And the rover is safely on the surface, and we got the first image back from the rover. So take a look. And the most important thing you see here is not a lot. And that's because they had to make sure they landed in a flat, smooth area without any big boulders around. And they, like I say, they stuck the landing. So now that it's safely wheels on the ground, let the science begin. Confirming that we can see a little bit of that slowdown of the atmosphere on the Perseverance entry capsule. After a nearly seven month long flight and what the NASA team calls seven minutes of terror. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Relief and revelry. Perseverance guiding itself down to the surface of the red planet. When I heard the touchdown signal come back and saw the first image, um, I, I cannot tell you how um, overcome with emotion I was um, and happy I was. The landing, a start of a new Martian era of exploration and the first leg of a round trip journey to Mars. Onboard Perseverance, we have some pieces of technology that are specifically flying to Mars to advance human exploration. That technology, cameras, sensors, spectrometers, probes, and for the first time, microphones, giving us the first listen to what's happening on the surface, along with a special drill that will fill test tubes with Martian soil to be brought back to Earth in about 10 years for extensive study. Did life also start on Mars when life started here on Earth? That's one of the questions we'll be trying to answer. An ambitious mission packed with a little moxie and ingenuity, literally. Moxie, an experiment hoping to turn carbon dioxide in the atmosphere into breathable oxygen for astronauts and liquid oxygen for rocket propellant for future missions. And ingenuity, a four pound little helicopter, the first time humans have flown on another planet. But for now, a moment to celebrate the success as Perseverance makes its first marks on Mars. Just remarkable. And the place where Perseverance landed is very, very special. So coming up in about an hour, more from my one-on-one -on -one interview with Dr. Roger Weens. He's one of the rover's lead scientists, and he's going to explain why Jezero Crater is so special and such an important target. Back to you guys.